defying my own fashion rules. As you can tell, I'm very fashionable. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am just hanging out in my dorm. It's a Tuesday, I had classes and the, I guess like morning, afternoon, so I'm just kind of hanging out and I thought I would film a haul video. I'm a little bit scooched over, aren't I? Hmm. I am definitely still trying to figure out my dorm and like where I want to film. I'm probably going to find like the best filming spot right before I leave this dorm for the rest of my life, you know, at the end of the year. So knowing me, that's probably how it's going to go. So just wanted to let you guys know if right now it's still not good, it really is never great. That's kind of why. So I hope it's good enough. I think this is kind of, it's a very boring background and I kind of... I'm a little bit like fallen into it at the moment, but um, you know, it's okay. You want to know why it's okay? Because we're going to be doing a haul today. I have things from Pink, uh, Forever 21, Target, so let's just get on into it. So as you can tell from the title, I got basically a lot of fitness things just because I don't have any workout clothes, really. I have like big t-shirts and stuff, but I wanted some like workout clothes to be an actual girl, you know what I mean? The first store I will show you guys is... Forever 21. So the first thing I got from Forever 21 is this sports bra. This is so cute. So basically it's just like normal, you know, what the heck ever, but then the back. It's so cute. So it just kind of goes up in this stripey kind of deal. Literally I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. I wore this yesterday and it was supportive. It like didn't have any issues. So big fan of this one. I really liked it. I think it was $14.80 but I've already worn it so the tag is off. Then I wore it with this shirt, which is also from Forever 21, and this is what it looks like. It is so cute once again. Obviously, everything I, I got is cute because I bought it because I like it, you know what I mean? So this just says, never, ever, ever give up on the very bottom. It's kind of folding right there, but yeah, I don't really care what it says, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I'm happy it doesn't say, like, buy one, get one free, like, socks or something. You know, something, like, super confusing and weird. I'm happy it says something more normal and, like, gym-like, but yeah, I'm a big fan of this. It's super breezy and, like, breathable. I think this is about, like, $10, $14, $12, around that price, too. Really great. got mine in a medium. It has a longer, like, arm hole, I guess, as you would call it, and I was kind of nervous that it would, you know, not really flatter my body because I'm definitely, like, not in shape, and I'm trying to get more, I don't know, just, like, not necessarily thinner, just more toned. So I was a little bit nervous about how this would look, but it doesn't go too low, so it doesn't make me a little bit insecure. Like, it stops at the right point. So I really like this shirt. The next thing I got was this sports bra, which I have the tags on. This was $14.90, and this is what the front looks like. It's a super cute acid wash. The back has this strap that's like neon coral, I would say, and then it has this mesh detail with an open back a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but just enough to where it's like kind of interesting, slightly different. I also got this tank top kind of deal as well. This one says mind over matter, has some armholes once again. I think it's like the same exact shirt, just a different color and print. And this one was $10.90. So soft, so cute. Big fan once again. I like how all of this stuff is like gray, kind of like a neon coral color, black. It's like I can wear them with so many different pieces and it doesn't clash and just kind of flows but I have like so many different more outfits than I would have so I like the versatility of that for sure this one was another sports bra this was $14.90 isn't it weird that like a sports bra is more than the shirts I don't know maybe not maybe that's normal I don't know but this is what it looks like so it's just blue on the front and on the back it just has like this crisscross kind of deal so cute I can't wait to wear this one honestly I love the color I just I'm so excited about it I don't know why I'm holding it like this but I'm excited another thing I got from forever 21 was this shirt which was $12.90 and oh god let's hold it correctly Brooke so this is what it looks like on the front it's just completely basic gray with just a little bit of a black mesh and on the back that's like it's literally like a mullet shirt it's like business in the front and then we got a little bit of a party in the back. So it just opens and has this like little twist and it goes about like mid back. I would say it's not anything too low because I'm not into that personally, just not my thing. But yeah, this is so cute. And especially with like a cool sports bra, I feel like it'll just be super fun. And I like how it's kind of more of a high neck. It's just overall a super cute shirt. I'm getting so uncomfortable by sitting on the floor. I'm not cut out for this life. I need chairs. I need chairs. But yeah, this is so cute too. And the last thing I got from Forever 21 was this 
rain jacket windbreaker kind of thing. So I saw this and I thought I would try it out. I don't really know if I would like it if it was my style or anything, but I've already worn it once and I'm really into it. So this is what it looks like. It's see-through, has a little bit of like a stripe kind of deal on the side. It's like I could direct traffic in this or I could also go to the gym in this. You know what I mean? Like it's very versatile if you have two different jobs. Maybe you work at a gym and then maybe you like are a cross guard. Perfect jacket for you. I'm not even really being that sarcastic. Like it's a perfect jacket. Um, I don't know. I really like this. It was $20 and I like it because if I wear gym clothes to class to later go to the gym in, I like how I can throw that on top. If it's like a sleeveless top or something, I can just put that over. So I'm still covered, but it's like sporty and it kind of looks like I meant to do it even though I'm just like using it to cover up. And also in the spring and summer and fall, it'll be great to wear just as like a light jacket over some things. So moving on to pink. I got some leggings because they were having a $35 deal on their leggings, I think. So this is the first pair I got on the side. It just has like the little like label that says pink and then it has a panel going all the way down the thigh that just is like this floral like watercolor kind of deal. On camera I feel like it looks a lot more pronounced but in person it's a little bit more just like faded and then it goes into this panel right here which is just white and then it goes into a mesh. These are so cute. I really like these. And then on the back of your calf or I guess my calf because I have worn these um, it just says pink a few times which is really cute. I also got this shirt from Pink, which was in a size extra small. Now I am never, ever, ever an extra small. So I feel like they just had a lot of oversized things marketed as like extra smalls and like a smaller size than it actually is because I'm normally a medium to a large in things. I'm really hardly ever a small. So this is what it looks like. It looks really big, I feel like, especially on camera. And it totally is. It, works really well for me. It's not very oversized. It's more just like a true fit. It is not clingy though. It like definitely does flare out a little bit, but it's not like huge on me. I got this for $8 because it was on super, super, super sale. So really like that. And then the back just says pink like that. And the sleeves are a little bit of a drop, but not too much, especially if you have a little bit of a larger chest. So yeah, it's just more like a normal tank top kind of deal. Really like this, so glad I got this for only $8. And the last thing I got from Pink were these leggings. They were also $35. And this is what they look like here. And on the side, they just say pink. And then have a panel. And then go into this mesh. And they're just like a heather gray kind of speckled deal. I'm so into these. Like, they're just so cute. I love the mesh. I just think it's so different. And obviously, you're still covered, but it's still showing a little bit. And it's your calf, so it's, like, fine to show, obviously. Let's just talk about how many times I've said super cute in this video. But I really enjoy these. These are very beautiful. And the last place I went to was Target. So I have just a few things here, but they're honestly so, so exciting, slash incredible, slash just great, great thing. So I'm happy to show you. I got two of the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipsticks. I have talked about these a little bit on Snapchat. I'm actually wearing this one today. This is in the shade Rebel Rose. So that's also my lips. The color, like I said in here, is a little bit weird. It's like yellow, but dark, and ugh, I don't know. I also got the shade Give Me Mocha, which is this one right here. Super cute color. The packaging is like I feel like pretty high-end looking considering it's like five dollars. Definitely leave me a comment letting me know if you want to hear what I think about these but I don't know if I want to say in this video if I like them or not but I probably do like them if I'm wearing one right now you know. And I also got some things from Pixie so this is from the Pixie and Aspen Ovard collaboration collection and this is one of the highlighters this is in the shade London Luster it's called their glowy powder. I've never tried any pixie makeup before. I hope the camera will pick up. Oh yeah, you can tell. That is a highlight and a half. Now normally I don't go for like a soft yellow, white, gold kind of shade. So it is a little bit different than my normal look. So I don't know if I like it 
necessarily just for the tone but for the pigmentation and the consistency and the blendability really enjoy it and lastly for this entire haul I have the pixie and it's Judy time eyeshadow palette I bought the it's Judy time eyeshadow palette when she came out with one with BH cosmetics I got it for Christmas a few years ago I really do like that palette a lot it's great it has this beautiful creamy white shade that I love to go to all the time so I was really excited to see how I felt about this palette so as you can tell the shades are very warm toned you do have like a few cooler options here too but for the most part it is a very warm toned palette especially down here it's just like super neutral and very pretty i do enjoy this palette a lot but there are some not issues i have with it i wouldn't say issues it's more just like i do wish when i put it on with a brush it was as pigmented as a finger swatch because you swatch this on your finger and you're like, oh, what a swatch. But when you apply this with a brush, it is a little bit more diffused. Also, can we just talk about how Pixie and Judy Travis liked my tweet about buying this and buying the Aspen highlighter. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, definitely do that. It's below, as always. And you can see when I buy products or talk about random things like my life. So that's always a fun thing. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me comments below letting me know how you're doing. If you like this haul, what you've been buying. I just, I genuinely like to keep up with you guys. I really appreciate you guys and I love you to pieces. So thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Let me love you too, feel alright.